Java interview question and answer. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about one of the very important Java concurrency interview question. And question is here, what techniques help to reduce log contention? Yeah. So let's try to understand answer of this question. Uh, in some cases, log contention can be re reduced by applying one of the following techniques. First, the scope of the log is re reduced means uh, instead of synchronizing the entire method you can uh, you can make use of synchronize block right so in that case you are going to reduce the uh, basically time duration for the log and uh, uh, so that the log will be released as soon as possible as soon as uh, execution of uh, basically critical section is completed and other thread will acquire the log and proceed for the further task yeah now next point the number of times a certain lock is acquired is reduced right so uh, so for that we can have a very good concept is called lock splitting right and uh, based on that basically you might have heard about the concurrent hash map right that has been designed so instead of acquiring the single lock on the uh, one object uh, we can have a multiple lock so and those locks can be applied on the different section of the uh, basically uh, the different section of the that object right and that way you can uh, basically also get the thread safety and based on that concept basically concurrent hash map is designed now next point says using hardware supported optimistic locking operation instead of synchronization so as you know uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, like a synchronization mechanism to basically protect our data right uh, uh, or protect our critical section in the code so instead of doing that uh, we can use optimistic lock right so that in that way uh, performance of application will be improved as well contention can be re reduced now we can avoid uh, synchronization where possible if there is no synchronization uh, needed only your thread is going to read the data but uh, uh, thread is not going to ra uh, do kind of a right operation right then i think there is no synchronization needed in those cases unnecessary synchronization basically reduce performance of your application so we should avoid synchronization as as much as possible and that way you are going to reduce the log contention as well last but not the least you can make use of the uh, you can make use of uh, basically uh, avoid using uh, object uh, pooling right so uh, uh, when you use object pooling and you know object pooling uh, has been uh, designed based on the synchronization mechanism only so if possible you can avoid object pooling so these are the basically uh, key points we have using this concept or these key points we can reduce thread uh, thread or log contention in our application so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button if if you didn't subscribe kk java tutorial still yet then please go ahead and subscribe it want to learn java in much more detail then you can you can visit our website kkjava guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial